Hey everyone, thank you for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe below. All of the ad revenue that we'll get from these videos goes to New Zealand charities. Today is just a quick tip about quickly calculating how much you can afford if you're looking to buy your first home based on your income. Now there's a lot that goes into this calculation. Credit cards, which affect how much usable income you've got. There are how many children you've got, how you get your income in terms of commission or bonuses, or whether you're full-time or casual salary, maybe you're self-employed. But for the vast majority of people, the, the couple with one or two kids, one or two cars, and maybe a $10,000 credit card, five times your income is about the formula that you want to use. So in other words, if you have a combined income of say 120,000, then you should be able to borrow about $600,000. Now, of course you'll need a deposit on top of that. Uh, so you might be purchasing say 700, 720, but to know your borrowing capability, it's roughly five times your salary. Now, if you have an extraordinary amount of secondary debt, so you might have, say, $50,000 worth of credit cards, that is going to affect it. And you'll need to talk to a mortgage advisor or your bank branch about how much that does affect your income. But as a very rough guide, just to, just to filter in whether you're going to get what you're looking for, use that formula and see whether it's going to work for you. Now, one thing to know, at the very low end of that scale, if you're earning less than, say, $35,000, this formula doesn't work. And the reason for that is everyone has base expenses that they need to account for. They've got food, they've got electricity, they've got healthcare, they've got clothes that they need to buy. And these are all a minimum cost of just living. And it tends to add up to about $20,000, $25,000 a year. So there's not a lot left if you earn, say, thirty dollars to $35,000. But if you earn more than that, formula just seems to work and seems to be a really good guideline for first home buyers. So run the numbers, see whether they work and have a chat to a mortgage advisor or a bank branch staff member and see whether you can get the mortgage. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.